so being judged yeah this is gonna be a strange video A lot of people think I'm gay. Yeah. You can't really help judging other people. You know, as soon as you see people, you have that initial thought of your head of like, what that person can or could be. It's kind of weird for me because like, I really hate being judged. Like I'm so self-conscious. Like I, I hate thinking that everybody in the room is judging me, but I also have a really bad habit of judging people. So it's like, if I see somebody and they're doing something or they're wearing something or I don't know, or they say a certain thing, I automatically assume that I know everything they do and everything they say and stuff like that. That's for me to work on internally. So, um, actually, I'm gonna get on that right now. This racist lady was very mean to me. I, I work in retail and I was asking her a question and she looked at me like I was stupid. Like she, she just looked at me like, mm. I was like, do you want a fitting room? Because she had clothes in her hands. So I was like, do you want a fitting room? Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. Then I left her alone and she kept looking at me. She kept staring me down. And then I was like, I looked at her back because I know I'm cute. I feel like I feel like I was judged pretty much my whole life like from the time that I was like eight or nine probably until I was 16 I don't think I was like all the way comfortable with myself until I was like 15 or 16 years old and so that whole like that whole time period between third grade and sophomore year I was just constantly like oh why don't people like me or what is it that they don't like about me and i would change you know this that and the third and nothing would ever work so it's like at the end of the day i'm just i'm i'm sitting you know in the room with myself and i'm trying to figure out why everybody's judging me when i was younger a lot of people still thought i was gay and that was way before the whole gay rights pride movement was around so things kind of sucked in middle school <laughs> because everyone thought that I was something that I shouldn't be, you know, even though I wasn't what they thought I was. And that kind of made things a little bit harder for me with the whole bullying and everything. And I don't really talk about it, nor have I really talked about it to a lot of my friends, but I dealt with that for a while. So I continued to do my work and then she kept looking at me. So I went up to her again and I took her clothes that she had ready, that she wanted to ring up. I took it from her and then I just started ringing her up and then she looked at me and she's still mad for whatever reason. I think she heard me speak Spanish and she just, she was just pissed off. I asked her a question. She was like, hmm? And again, I'm like, like you can't speak English to me. Like as if Spanish is the only language that I can speak. Um, I think that being judged definitely opened the window for me to become more comfortable with myself like I feel like everybody has these things that they don't like about themselves or they don't like in general and I think that when you are judged and you adapt to being judged and when you realize that when you have to go through the process of I'm being judged I don't know why I'm being judged I don't like that I'm being judged but I'm okay with being judged once you if you don't go through that process you don't you don't appreciate it as much you know you don't appreciate confidence the way you know the way a lot of people do because a lot of people are are judged on a daily basis I do theater <laughs> if, if that's not helping my case out any but yeah no I did theater in my last year of middle school and all throughout high school it's an extreme passion of mine and of course I want to be an actor I'm sure you guys know that um, this also kind of amplified that quote-unquote effect whereas people thought that I was not straight so for a while I got teased about it, but it never really bothered me because it was just based on, oh, you're in theater. But um, I knew that I had a talent that none of those idiots could ever acquire, so it never really bothered me. Cash her car, and she didn't look at me at all. She just like threw the cash onto the thing, onto like basically my register. And I took it and I gave her her change, and then I forgot to give her because she, she had gotten, um, 
like deodorant or something. And I forgot to put it in her bag. So I gave her the bag with the rest of her stuff. Mind you, she had like nine other items and I gave it to her. And I just forgot this one deodorant. And then she left and then she came back and then she went ballistic. Like a former friend of mine, um, I had had a conversation with this individual confirming the fact that yes, I was in the military. And upon them hearing that, they called me a baby killer. And normally this is something like I would shrug off because, you know, friends tell each other things like that all the time, like as jokes. But I would have shrugged it off if it were a joke. Now, mind you, I did not sign up for infantry or like to be a fighter pilot. I'm a photojournalist. Not even one on the front lines, I just take pictures at my airbase. And that was enough to get them ticked off, just the fact that I actually joined the military. And they kept calling me these names, like, and the first, obviously the first one and the most prevalent one, Baby Killer. That's kind of over the top, don't you think? It's ridiculous, and it actually really hurt coming from them, which is usually a person that lets a lot of stuff slide. For better or for worse, that's not for me to judge. Like, she said, come here, and I came here, and then she got it in my face. It like, so deep and intense, she was like, are you gonna give me my deodorant? And then I, I, and then I looked, I was like, oh, and then I started laughing about it just to make her feel better. And then she looked at me again, she was like, mm-hmm, and then she left. If you're going to judge someone for their interests, or their hobbies, or their occupation, Maybe, one, put yourself in their shoes, and twice, think twice. Because you never know whose hearts you might be breaking. So if you take nothing else from this video, take that being judged is inevitable. You know, you shouldn't feel uncomfortable about somebody judging you because that's what people are gonna do. And you shouldn't feel uncomfortable or wrong about judging other people because that's what people do. All you can do is be comfortable with yourself. You know, tell yourself every day that you love yourself. Tell yourself that you're a winner, you know. Whatever you need to do, whatever you need to say to make you okay with you. Because at the end of the day, your judgment for you, your judgment of you, I apologize. Your judgment of you is the only judgment that matters. I didn't think I could get so deep into this video, but I mean, don't sweat it. I try not to let too much shit get to me, only because, you know, I know who I am, I know my worth, I know I can do this and I know I can do that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you don't forget to like this video and subscribe and go to the comment section and type in a little something something. Maybe just be like, hey, love you guys. Or maybe you don't like something that we do on our channel, you can let us know that too. We are open to all suggestions. Um, Anything that we can do to make the Everything TV experience um, more enjoyable for you guys. Because at the end of the day, we do this for you guys. You know, we're just people who love to entertain people. And if you guys aren't entertained, then we're not doing our job correctly. So we need you guys feedback. We need you guys to let us know what we do, what we do right and what we do wrong. So that we can entertain you uh, as best as possible. And you can get as much as possible out of the ETV experience. Everything out.